<laughs> okay. So anyway, so last week's. Oh, and oh, and I want to thank. Um, well, I want to. Uh, let's let's go and look at that. Last week's Fez Night, which was called One Life to Fez, and it was in five parts. And um, the original mission statement of, uh, of Fez Night is being altered slightly. Sure, I want to welcome my new subscribers. Hey, welcome new subscribers, and thank you those that still sub to me, and still talk to me, and still watch my videos. Cheers. I'm needing to back away a little bit from YouTube. I can't be involved in it as much as I as I like to, but I do I do like to catch up and watch other people's videos and and get into uh, leave uh, leave comments and then have people respond to those comments and call me a fool. <laughs> just recently, just recently, I just got a comment from some guy, and it was on it was on Whiskey Man's channel, and uh, uh, this guy called Archon. Aileron. He says, dude, you are so indoctrinated. It's hilarious. LOL, 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 LOL. Your name should be Citizen Conflation. Well, if I remember correctly, conflation has to do with being confused. And um, I don't know if I'm that quite confused. And, uh, and this is, I'm really getting fed up, and I think of methadone for life. And I know Coffee Dude has expressed the same thing. I think Whiskey Man is, is, is more up for the fight, but, but some of us are just, are just frustrated with where um, I think that I'm, hey, look, whether you're right or left, you know, there can be some agreement because the idea of, a, I mean, I still believe in those labels of a, of a right wing and a left wing. There's, there's a general philosophy, just keep it simple, you know. Um, but uh, this country needs both. I'd have to say if the leftists completely took over, that would not be America that, that uh, you and I are familiar with that we love. It's a balance. It's a tug of war. And as long as each side doesn't get too much control, we can stay on track. I understand. I need, we need our right wing. We do. We need our Republican Party to be our adversary. Um, you know, even though I so dislike most, most of what the Republicans stand for. But there has to be that tension, an adversarial system. I, I, I see that. And because I acknowledge that, I'm some indoctrinated sheep, that I'm somebody that wants to, that, that says, hey, go, get out there and vote, work within the system, you know? Rock the boat, you know? Or was one teacher said, don't rock the boat, sink it? I'm not sure quite. Let's just rock it really good, okay? But, um, uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not ready for violent revolution. And in fact, I think some people, somebody pointed out that the powers that be want us to have a violent revolution. That way they can, they can whip out the big guns and slaughter us all. So I, I, like my, I like the anarchists. You know, you don't understand the anarchists, how much we have in common as far as the type of, of thinking, not those market anarchists, but the regular anarchists. And I'm so sick of these labels. Um, I don't mind labels, but there's just so many like subcategories and everything. It's too damn confusing. And I didn't take poly's political science in school, okay? And um, so, uh, yeah, I'm frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this stuff. Just because, um, just because I, I, uh, I, I remember my civic studies and um, the basic uh, rules of how our government works and some acknowledgement and some pride in the fact that our forefathers came up with a system of, uh, of checks and balances and, uh, you know, and they're just so like, it's just so smug. It's just like, oh, you know, you, you're indoctrinated. You're just, you're just following the program, you know. Um, it's every generation thinks they know what's going on, you know. And just wait till you're my age, you'll see things differently. <laughs> to get out there in the working world and really have to deal with stuff. And pay your taxes and worry about the tax man and, and uh, your fucking landlord. And, and uh, you know, whether you can make rent or uh, make your car payment or the price of gas goes up and it eats into your budget and you're not getting a raise. Yeah, fuck you and your, you know. I went to college. I love college. I don't have anything against people that go to college. But some of you get such an attitude, you know? <sighs> yeah. The world's changing.
I know, it's not getting better. But to call me citizen conflation, you're such a smug. You're another punk. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I get it from both sides. From the lefty whippersnappers and the right whippersnappers. Those little right-wingers. Oh, man. Um, oh, look, I got a reply from Billy Othon. Oh, let's see. Hey, um, Billy Othon. I don't know if you want to visit his uh, channel, but Billy Othon has a... He doesn't post that many videos. And I have to say, for a guy who's a conservative right-winger, he's, he's no knuckle-dragging, frothing at the mouth, cursing a-hole, okay? The guy at least conducts himself in a civil manner. And I'll grant you that, Billy Othon, even though we've had big arguments over, like, the definition of deviant. <laughs> There's too much to talk about that. But he says, what's up with this Sarah Palin thing? It's his video. And um, he says, hey, sir, glad to see you're, you're still out and about. Well, I am right. I never supported Bush. I am full aware that McCain's selection of Palin is a is a SOP thrown to, a sop thrown to conservatives to get us to vote for him. It isn't going to work, not with me anyway. And as far as Mrs. Clinton, I have to say, I don't, much, I don't know much about how she was treated. I don't have TV. I, so I get all my news, etc. online. Well, what I was saying, he was talking about how the, uh, the media is viciously attacking Sarah Palin. And, uh, and I'd have to say, if people would remember how viciously um, Hillary Clinton was being attacked by the right, and yet we didn't respond to them in many of the same ways. You know, we weren't all like, leave her alone, she's a girl. <laughs> the right wing is like forming a circle around Palin. You can't touch her. You can't touch her. She's a woman. To, to criticize her, you're being, you're, you hate women. Come on. Who has done anything for women's rights but the liberals? The conservatives term the... Term, you know, the, the term feminazi? Come on. Give me a break. 